As we continue our coverage of Domestic Violence Awareness Month, we want to shed light on the fact that many times victims will find themselves having to prove they aren't the real aggressor. The Nest in Lexington has some powerful resources it wants victims to plug into so they'll know what steps they need to take after a traumatic and abusive experience. Our Daniel Miskell joins us now with more. Good evening. There are many victims of domestic violence who will say, I never thought this could happen to me. That's exactly how I felt when I found myself in my own abusive situation and with my first run-in with the law two years ago. I didn't know how to navigate the judicial system as a defendant trying to prove my innocence. That's why I sat down with leaders at The Nest today so we could help other victims in similar situations realize what a fighting chance they have. Domestic violence is a very unique crime. Because right? it's a crime Domestic involving psychological is... manipulation and gaslighting. That's why sometimes the victim is accused of being the aggressor. The aggressor's yelling and screaming and acting up and causing fear, and then they cause the victim, right, to get upset, to start to get emotional, and they meet in the middle, and then by the time the police arrive, the aggressor is now super calm, cool, and collected, and that's how that manipulation comes into play. He might have injuries on him, right, because the victim was acting in self-defense. Another form of manipulation the real aggressor can use is filing an emergency protective order against their victim to punish them. Every now and then, you will have an aggressor has knowledge of the system if you have been wrongly filed against. You can call The Nest. You can call Greenhouse 17. Both The Nest and Greenhouse 17 are organizations with in-house advocacy groups, and advocates play a huge role in helping victims, no matter what side of the charges they're on. And the advocate walks through all the safety procedures they can take to keep them alive. It's amazing how they can sit through court, explain the court process. There are even advocates for immigrants who face extra challenges getting fear of de deportation, right? What can we do to get you a status to be able to keep you here while you're going through your process? Attorney Aubrey Giraud so, says the Nest has been helping train law enforcement to better judge who the real aggressor and the real victim is. There are Kentucky laws in place that force officers to make the best decision they can at the time, but if you feel like you've been wrongfully charged with assault, the first step a victim needs to take is call a community advocate. And on our website, we'll have a list of advocates who can help a victim in any stage of their case. And the Nest says it doesn't care about anyone's history, if it's substance abuse or if a victim is in recovery, undocumented, or a member of the LGBTQ community, or even has a past criminal record. Counselors say they will still help. I'm Danielle Miskell, Marvin and Andrea, back to you.